Dear children, now we will learn about electrical resistance. So first tell me what is resistance? Resistance, you know, resistance means opposition. So opposition, what is opposition? This opposition is to what? So you remember resistance of a conductor means that is the opposition to the flow of electric current through it. Suppose it is a conductor, suppose the current is flowing through it. So when current flows through a conductor, then conductor opposes to the flow of electric current. So that opposition is called as electrical resistance. So it is your qualitative definition of resistance. That is the opposition to the flow of electric current through the conductor. So now come to what is the quantitative definition or mathematical definition of resistance. So now quantitative definition of resistance. That is the mathematical definition. So you know from Ohm's law that I is equal to V by R or R is equal to V by I. So what is V? It is suppose it is the conductor. Suppose it is the conductor. The potential difference across the conductor. Suppose V. Suppose I is the current flowing through the conductor. Here resistance is R is equal to V by I. So mathematically you can say the resistance of a conductor is defined as the ratio of potential difference applied across the two ends of the conductor to the current flowing through it. So it is your resistance. So now come to what is the SI unit of resistance? What is SI unit? When that is O, symbol is this one. So now 1 ohm, when you take resistance in ohm, then potential in volt and current in ampere. So now how can you define resistance of 1 ohm? The resistance of a conductor is said to be 1 ohm when a current of 1 ampere flows through it on applying a potential difference of 1 volt across it. It is the definition of 1 ohm. So now come to dimension. What will be the dimension? Resistance dimension. It is your potential. Potential dimension divided by current dimension. So now come to what is the dimension of potential? Potential dimension, you know. V is equal to W by Q, W dimension, that is what? That is M1, L2, T minus 2 divided by charge. A1, T1, that is equal to M1, L2, T minus 3, A minus 1. So, in place of V, you can write M1, L2, T minus 3, A minus 
1 divided by current that is a1 it is now this equal to m1 l2 t minus 3 a minus 2 it is the dimensional formula of resistance so the dimensions are 1 2 minus 3 minus 2 in terms of mass length then time and current respectively so what are the factors affecting resistance so you remember resistance dimension is m1 m2 t minus 3 a minus 2 so now come to factors affecting resistance factors affecting resistance of a conductor so you remember resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to length of the conductor suppose it is the conductor the length is l when length increases then resistance increases then how it depends upon area cross section you remember resistance of a conductor is inversely proportional to area of cross section of the conductor so now come to when you combine these two combining these two you will get r proportional to l by a or r is equal to when you replace proportionality sign by equal to sign there comes a proportionality constant rho that is rho l by a where rho is called as resistivity or specific resistance specific resistance of a conductor so you remember the resistance of a conductor depends upon the shape and size of the conductor the length of the conductor the area cross section of the conductor but this specific resistance or the resistivity that doesn't depend upon the shape of the conductor the resistivity only depends upon the nature of the material of the conductor for example if you take suppose it is iron if you take iron of this length its resistivity is same as the iron of length this much let it be one meter even it is same as a iron length iron rod of length one kilometer even if you take a dust particle of iron then also you will get same resistivity so you remember resistivity of a material that remains constant that doesn't depend upon shape and size of the conductor but only but it depends upon the nature of the material of the conductor that means the resistivity of iron is different from resistivity of copper so now come to define resistivity resistivity or specific resistance you see if you take l is equal to 1 unit a is equal to 1 unit then rho is equal to r that means you got 
the specific resistance of a conductor is numerically equal to resistance when it has unit length and unit area of cross section so repeating again the resistivity or specific resistance of a conductor is numerically equal to its resistance when it has unit length and unit area of cross section so now come to what is the unit of resistivity unit si unit as rho is equal to r r is equal to rho l by a that means rho is equal to r a by l that means si unit is for resistance it is ohm and for area it is meter square by meter that means it is ohm meter the symbol is it is a symbol of ohm then meter the dimension that is resistance dimension just we have uh, written the resistance dimension is m1 r is equal to v by i that is w by q into i that is m1 l2 t minus 2 by a t then a that is m1 l2 t minus 3 a minus 2 so for resistance it is m1 l2 t minus 3 then a minus 2 for resistance then for meter means length it is L that is M1 L3 T minus 3 A minus 2 so it is the dimension of resistivity So, it is the dimensional formula of resistivity. So, dimensions are 1, 3, minus 3, minus 2 in terms of mass, length, time and current respectively. So, now come to conductivity. So, you remember Conductivity, it is the reciprocal of resistivity. Remember, conductivity is the reciprocal of resistivity. So, what is the unit? SI unit that is 1 by ohm meter. So, it will be ohm inverse, meter inverse, ohm inverse, you can say it is as mo, mo meter inverse. Or, you can write Simon in place of mo, or you can say the unit of, the SI unit of conductivity is Simon meter inverse. So, dimension Conductivity dimension that is 1 by resistivity dimension M1 L3 T minus 3 A minus 2 that equal to A minus 1 L minus 3 T3 A square. So, now come to conductance. As resistivity doesn't depend upon shape and size of the conductor, so conductivity also doesn't depend upon 
the shape and size of the conductor. So now come to conductance. So what is conductance? To remember, conductance is reciprocal of resistance. So what is the unit? SI unit, ohm inverse, or you can say mo, or you can say it is Simon. Then dimension that is conductance dimension 1 by resistance dimension you know the resistance dimension is m1 and 2 p minus 3 e minus 2 so it will be m minus 1 l minus 2 t3 l2 it is the dimensional formula of conductance so now come to very important term that, that is current density so now come to current density It is a conductor Suppose I is the current flowing through this conductor from left to right So what is current density at a point? Current density at a point is defined as the amount of current Passing per unit area at that point, the area being held normal to the direction of current flow. That means, if I want to find current density at point P, here I have to see what is the current flowing through unit area at the point P. Provided the area is normal to the direction of current flow. That means that is current density is represented by J that is I by A when A is normal to the flow of current. That means if it is the area means area vector is perpendicular to it. When area is normal to the direction of flow of current, then area vector is parallel to the direction of flow of current. Because area vector is normal to the area, normal to the surface. So in this case, current density J is equal to I by A. What is A? A is this area. If Area is like this. What is the direction of area vector? It is the direction of area vector. The current is flowing like this. That means here area or the surface is not normal to the direction of flow of current. You take this angle is theta. Suppose area vector makes an angle theta with the direction of flow of current. Then, what is the component of this area in the direction of flow of current or what is the area perpendicular to the direction of flow of current that is A cos theta. So, in this case, what is the current density? J is equal to I by perpendicular area. Perpendicular area means that is A cos theta or you can write I is equal to J A cos theta. So, you can write, you know it because theta is A vector dot B vector. So, here you can write it is J vector dot A vector. That means, here you got electric current is dot product of 
current density vector and area vector. So here question arises: Is current density a vector quantity? Answer is yes. Yes, current density is a vector quantity. Then what is its direction? Current density direction is same as the direction of electric current. So you remember, electric current is a scalar quantity, but current density is a vector quantity. The direction of current density is along the direction of flow of electric current. So now, what is the unit of current density? SI unit, you know, our current is ampere, and for area, it is meter square, so it is ampere, meter square inverse, it is the SI unit. Dimension, current density, for current it is A, and for area, this A is area, not ampere. So here it is A, it is A, don't be confused. Here I am writing ampere, but this A is area. So J is equal to J dimension, this current dimension, that is A for ampere, then area, area is O L square, that is A1 L minus 2. So it is all about your current density. So now come to what is the relationship between the current density vector and the electric field. Relation between current density and electric field. You take it is a conductor the potential difference applied across the conductor to ends of the conductor B V let I is the current flowing through it let R be the resistance of the conductor from Ohm's law you know V is equal to I R that equal to I you know that is rho L by A into you write here I but in place of R you can write rho L by A that is for R it is equation 1 again you know you know what is the electric field inside a conductor. You remember in electrostatic condition the electric field inside a condition is zero but when you apply potential difference then electric field inside the conductor is not zero. If length is L and you know a relation of potential gradient you know electric field E is equal to V by L it is the relationship between electric field and potential gradient or V is equal to EL. So you compare equation 1 and 2 therefore I rho L by A is equal to EL or I rho by A is E or J rho is E or J is equal to E by rho, you know 1 by rho is sigma, therefore J is equal to sigma E. So you remember current density is equal to 
कंडक्टिविटी इनटू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अगेन यू नो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी करंट डेंसिटी इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डायरेक्शन इज फ्रॉम हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल एंड करंट डायरेक्शन इट इज लाइक इट इज करंट फ्लोज इन दिस डायरेक्शन दैट मींस x इज अ हायर पोटेंशियल देन y इट इज द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट दैट मींस इट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट डेंसिटी एंड इट इज आल्सो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बिकॉज़ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डायरेक्शन इज फ्रॉम हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल सो यू गॉट हियर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट डेंसिटी एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज सेम सो इन वेक्टर फॉर यू कैन राइट j वेक्टर इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा e वेक्टर सो हियर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड करंट डेंसिटी इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी